We're out at Bamford today. Forecast is a bit dodgy. So Matilda whipped up. Brown crack. Brown crack, yeah. It was good. So it's the top 50 in Eastern Grit, so it's quite polished. Um, but it's like good jams, or you can not use jams on the way up. So I'd actually had a go at Brown's Crack about four years ago, and all I can remember before I started it today was that uh, there was a diagonal hold somewhere near the top, and when I tried it before, I'd been pulling on it sideways, and it just like overextended my wrist a bit, and made it hurt, and it was bad enough that I couldn't actually do the crux moves and get to the top out. So that attempt, I sort of lowered back down, abbed, and just got the gear. So I'd, I'd had a go at it before, but I couldn't remember any of the moves. start with just like some jams, some finger jams, some hand jams, pushing up and bridging to get yourself up and into it. Then at about half height there was this like, good jug on the right hand side. So I ran my feet up there and then I spent a little bit of time trying to figure out how to get out of that position because my hands were good and it's kind of awkward because you've got the face on your right hand side. So eventually got jam, managed to move out of it, but there was a moment there that did feel like I might fall off. And then when I got to the crux, I was a little bit nervous, so I placed the big blue cam and then moved up a little bit more and got the yellow cam in. And that's when I reached this diagonal hold and you've got a really good like fist or hand jam, depending on which part you use. So I spaffed around there for a little while trying to work out how to do it because there weren't any obvious feet, like there was some smears which is what I ended up using um, and faffed around like trying to decide whether to put my right hand in the crack or my left hand in the crack and eventually I got a really good fist jam with my left and pulled on the diagonal crimpy slopey hold with my right hand and then just smeared my feet up until I could get my left foot in this big hold and then sort of mounted up onto the shelf below the top. No, I don't like top outs, so what I did was just place a little bit of like mind game protection. So I placed a good nut right at the top, and then I knew like when I committed I'd be safe, so I should just get on with the top out. jamming battle. <laughs> <laughs> How's the skin? All right, yeah, actually. Damage. It's quite polished, so I've not done too badly. That doesn't exactly help the jams. <laughs> yeah. um, it was good. Uh, it's lots of gear, which was nice. Every time I got a little bit scared, I could just put in more gear. Then I was like, I can do this move now. <laughs> so that's what I did at the top and for the crux and takes a lot of red nuts. <laughs> plays many, many red nuts, um, which is unusual. I normally don't find that I want to place <laughs> the same thing many times. So if you want to do brown crack, get hold of some red nuts. Yeah. Lots, lots of, of red nuts. Lots of red nuts in your brown crack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it was very solid for the grade, like yeah. high end, high end for the grade because it's an awkward crack and I don't like crack climbing. <laughs> Sorry wide boys. Crack climbing is <laughs> I'm the still future. I'm still getting used to this whole putting bits of your body in a crack. Now I'm gonna try a climb to the left of it. 
starts up the same one. I think it's Kien Save. Kien Kien Save. Kien Save. I just don't want to say it. <laughs> but yeah, it wanders a little bit. So we'll give that a go. That was a cool climb. Yeah, good route. Good start at the brown crack and then traverse out left. That was quite nice and delicate. And then, yeah, that bowl through the crack was quite, quite fun. I did it wrong-handed first and tried to reach up as high as I could and couldn't reach round to the flaky bit or to like the prime bit. Um, but then sort of swapped hands, lay backed it and then like just at the top of the bulge it's a bit, everything's a bit sort of flattened. Not so amazing, but that was good. I'm gonna have a go at the VS5 I at the corner. Cool, cool. Round there. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll have a go. 5A is quite hard for me. Okay, but good. it's got a Venus next to it. So <laughs> there's a backup plan. I'll have a go at that. It looks like it's got good gear, like finger crack all the way up. Cool, cool. I picked it as a challenge, so I haven't led VS for quite a while, um, but I have seconded some routes with 5A moves in the last couple of weeks, so I knew I should be able to do all the moves, so that was fine. And I also chose it because with it being a quite hard tech grade for the trad grade, so 5A is quite hard for a VS, I knew it should have theoretically good gear and it looked like it was a crack, so you should be able to place gear in there. And then the final reason I chose it was that I have this aversion to laybacking. I, I really don't enjoy it. I I can do it. Like this is the thing. And the more I do it, the more I t trust myself on it. But I dislike layback moves. I have a dislike of them. So I picked it as a bit of a challenge. Before you get established in the crack, there's like the bottom is cut away. So you, you have to use quite a wide stance or full on layback to get up and then it's established in the crack. So I had a couple goes going up and down there just trying to commit, like, because it was a layback or it looked like it would probably be part laybacking, I was sort of hesitant to commit. So once I got up and going, it was just a case of shuffling my hands up, there were some really good finger locks in there, smearing my right foot and then pressing with my left foot to keep me stable on the left hand wall. Um, 
because I was nervous, I placed lots of gear. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um, so loads of gear, just so that I could keep moving, because if I've got gear, I can tell myself that I am fine, just keep going. Um, so I, I sort of moved up a bit, placed some more gear. Uh, so there's a lot of gear there, but it's a crack, why not? And then the final top section I found a little bit tricky because the right hand wall got a bit steeper so it wasn't as easy to smear up there and the next good foothold was pretty much at my waist so I spent a bit of time there trying to work out how to do it. And then eventually I did get the high right foot, but managed to twist my hip around enough to then staff up onto it. But it wasn't entirely over because the top had a boulder above it. So I just went for the full worm technique, like get lying down and then squirm your way out until I was like, all the way out and you do feel really secure because your whole body is on the top of the grit and it's so there's loads of friction so it doesn't feel like you're gonna slip at all but it's just a bit awkward worming your way out with loads of gear attached to you I did have a cam i think i think it was a cam i couldn't actually see you get stuck in the cracks so i had a little while trying to move my gear to get out i was really pleased with this climb because it's the hardest one i've done in ages and although it wasn't a super fast lead i do struggle with my head game a bit like Yesterday, today wasn't perfect, but it was fairly good. Like I actually did a hard climb and afterwards I realized it was actually my hardest ever track climb on site. I've tried harder things, but not done them clean. Um, so I was really pleased with it.